Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, we want to remind you that this video's primary intention is to provide spiritual and lighthearted content and isn't based on scientific research. With that said, let's begin. You feel your call in life, an innate feeling deep inside you. You find the light in a faraway beacon and turn it towards others. You are a light worker, or so you think you are. You need to know what exactly that is first. A light worker is someone who possesses a strong urge to help others. They're earth angels, humanity's heroes, but they don't do it for credit. They just naturally have it in them to be compassionate and sensitive to others. Whether it's rescuing animals, comforting others, or becoming a nurse or counselor, light workers love helping others. So have a feeling you might be one? Here are 10 signs you are indeed a light worker. Number one, you feel different from others. Do you sometimes feel as if you don't fit in? Often, light workers are the odd kid out growing up. They have a hard time finding friends or their tribe when they're older. They connect with others on an empathetic level, but growing up, they simply couldn't help but feel different from their family or peers. Number two, you've suffered from mental illness, but have learned to grow from it. Have you been diagnosed with a mental illness? Many light workers have suffered from mental illnesses. After a long time of pain and emotional trauma, they flip the card and use their pain to help others going through something similar. Although it may be extremely difficult at times, those who grow into light workers continue to attempt to make the best out of their worst situations, learning from their pain in an effort to help themselves and others. Number three, you're an old soul. Do you often find yourself having a difficult time discussing interests with your peers? Or maybe you just enjoy talking with mature individuals. You may have been called an old soul. Light workers are wise beyond their years and are tuned in to a more mature level that implies they've had many experiences in life. Number four, you are philosophical and question your purpose in life. Do you often find yourself questioning the meaning of it all? Why are we here? How did we get here? Light workers are philosophical by nature. They often seem to have wisdom about life while questioning it and pondering it, and they're extremely intuitive. Number five, you're creative. Do you consider yourself creative? Do you use art as a method of emotional healing? Light workers are often on the creative side. They often take up hobbies such as music, writing, or art and use them in their healing process. Not a bad idea, light workers. Not a bad idea. Number six, you're an empath. Do you often pick up energy from others? When you talk with someone, you often hone in on what they're feeling. And in turn, you may mistake these as your own feelings. Light workers are often empaths. When someone else is happy, they may feel joy as well. On the other hand, if someone's venting their troubles to them, a light worker may feel emotionally drained and need a long break. Basically, they're great energy readers and easily pick up on other people's energy. Number seven, you feel the urge to help others. Do you often put others before yourself? Do you love caring for others? Light workers feel a calling to help those in distress. They show compassion and almost feel a sense of duty to give back to their community and make a difference even if just to one person. Sometimes they put others' needs before their own because of this, but a light worker must find balance and remember to take care of themselves as well. Number eight, you're a bit of a loner. You may be empathetic and connect with others, but this comes at a cost. Because light workers are sensitive to others' energy, they often enjoy being alone to recharge when they aren't helping others. Some can only take connecting with someone's energy in small quantities at a time. Number nine, you're spiritual. Do you consider yourself on the spiritual side? While some light workers still learn from other masters and lessons far and wide, they are often drawn to finding the power and unlimited potential within themselves often focused on growing from within. At one point or another, lightworkers find themselves in a sort of spiritual awakening. And number 10, you are highly intuitive and search for your purpose. Do you have an intuition that you're here for a strong purpose? You may not know what it is, 
but you're on the search for it. Lightworkers often find their purpose in helping others and awakening themselves. They seek to transform their lives as well as others. They just can't help it. It's a strong urge within them, one to nurture humanity and take another step down the path to helping others see that within themselves, there is light. Did you relate to any of these signs? Can you proudly call yourself a light worker? Comment down below. Have you found the light within you? Who will you help find theirs? Take a look at the comments down below and connect with others who could use your help. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more psychology content and advice. As always, we appreciate you watching.